Hello YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube video everybody, I'm so excited to have you guys all back here again. Okay, now before we get into the review of Judas and the Black Messiah, let me just say that today I was not supposed to be posting a video. Sorry. Today I wasn't supposed to be posting any videos of any sort besides the live stream that I'll be doing uh, later tonight. But... This review for Judas and the Black Messiah was supposed to come out yes it was supposed to be out yesterday. But I was very busy with if you've seen my Instagram and TikTok, you've known that I've been working on this like natural selection cartoon project for school. Um and I had to do it basically the entire well it was my choice. I basically, you know, chose to do it like today because I just wanted to get it done and over with, not worry about it on Monday because I have no school. But, yeah, I did it, and at least it's fine if I didn't post this video, because Valentine's Day today wasn't really a family thing. Uh, I mean, I mean, it wasn't, like, major where I had to come outside of my room, which is the place you're, you're looking at, and the place you've been looking at for the past couple of uh, months. But, uh, yeah, so that's why I didn't post this review on Saturday yesterday. But, at least I'm having this review out, so... Um, before we get into the review, I just want to let you know that... As the rele as we got closer to the release date of Judas and the Black Messiah... I was kind of getting a little bit excited for it, because... A movie about the Black Panther Party, and black people in general... Seems very interesting, because if you've seen... Because if you know about the history of black people that's happened... In like the past months or so, with George Floyd... It's been a big part of history, of our recent history, and uh, that's kind of why I was a little bit excited for this movie, but yeah, let's talk about the good now. Alright, so for me, the best thing about this movie in particular is really just the way we get to explore black people. The way we get to explore black people's lives and stuff like that, what it was like during before, like the 70s, 60s, stuff like that, it all worked. Uh, the characters are, like the inner, I thought the characters were really interesting. There's a lot of scenes where there, where people, people are like yelling at each other and then they like start to get to fight. I'm like, oh my god, this is a great drama. So it has a lot of great drama, even though there are some stuff I don't exactly understand because it's technically a rated R movie and I don't really understand some some rated R films I don't understand. Some of them I do, but um, and also the, I loved the music to this movie. It really worked. Also, I just love the way, I, and I think it just has to do with real life stories. Maybe it's just me, but I love real life stories. They just work for me so well. And the cast, of course, is ob obviously fantastic with the, the guy that played, I believe, Wakabi in Black Panther. Uh, so that was a, like, a, ni a nice little actor that they put in the film. Uh, and it was just a very cool film. The characters were very cool. There are a couple things I can understand, but we'll get into that when we get into the bad. But yeah, it tells, it, it, it has a lot of black, I think the black people culture was, was, worked very nicely in the film. And I just like the characters, the character, the character interactions, the, and there were some gun, there were some people that were shooting guns. It was actually kind of cool. But that's th those are my thoughts on um Jude no that those are my good thoughts on Judas and the Black Messiah. But now let's get into the bad. Now when we get into the bad of this movie, there's not like major big problems. I think it's just because it's a radar film and I don't understand it as much. Plus, I'm... There's a, a lot of things I didn't really understand from this film. Uh, but then at the same time there were... 
there's definitely a lot of plot lines about, you know, politicians and stuff like that. And, you know, there's definitely... But I will say this. I feel like the... I think the major problem with this film was that... Uh... There are... There's, like, parts of the film that I just did not understand. Like, it, it kind of zooms through different types of scenes. And for me, that doesn't really work. Hang on, I need to drink of water real quick. <sighs> but, um, there's, like, like the scenes just... Just just tonally shift through the movie like there's like the one the first scene where we get like this like this montage of like different black people talking like we see martin luther king at some point and then it shows like a guy on the streets and then it shows like a guy on the street going into this place and like pointing a gun at everybody and then you have like a guy a white guy like T like doing that little black that what is that intervention thing like that and he's like asking a uh, like did you feel about this when Martin Luther King died or did you feel about this what what happened with Malcolm X like the st the mo the the story t is totally sh shifts and I don't really like that but everything else seems pretty good and I c I actually did enjoy this movie so before I give you my final thoughts on the film. Be sure to tell me down below what did you think about Judas and the Black Messiah? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Um, did you did you um have you seen it or are you or are you right there in the middle? Just let's I wanna talk movies with you guys. That's that's also one of the reasons I made this channel. It's not just to share my opinions, but also to know you guys' opinions. But now, let's get into my scores for the film. So that is it for my Judas and the Black Messiah rank, not ranking, Judas and the Black Messiah review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram name is Marvel6, and my TikTok name is Marvel1Fan. Um, later tonight, I will be doing a live stream on Instagram, so you might want to pay attention to that Instagram name because um, it's definitely, it's actually for a special event that happened this week. So, um... See you in the live stream in a couple of hours.